Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if your NBA 2021 application or program is creating a green screen issue on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the Start menu, typing Device Manager. Best result, check them back with Device Manager. Go ahead and left click on it to open it up. Double click on the display adapter section and then right click on whatever display adapter is listed under here and select update driver. Select browse my computer for drivers and then select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Select whichever one is more specific so if you only have one you obviously go with the one that's provided. If you have one that's more specific like it says AMD or NVIDIA I recommend selecting that one and then selecting next. And then once it's done, select close, close out of here, restart your computer, and then hopefully that should have been able to resolve the problem. So in order to update the graphics card driver, just open up a web browser. Doesn't matter which one, but we're going to open up Google Chrome for today's tutorial. And you want to navigate over to google.com. And into Google, just search up whatever your graphics card driver is, so NVIDIA graphics card driver automatic download just search for it and it should say um, under NVIDIA just for example there's a link that says NVIDIA driver downloads automatically detect NVIDIA we're gonna go open that up in a new tab and let's say you have an AMD graphics card so just replace the video of AMD and search for it and you'll see a very similar result here um, for AMD it says auto detect um, so that's what we're going to open up in another tab. Just so you guys can see the comparison here that almost every graphics card driver should ha have an automatic system scan here. Then go ahead and scan your system and determine what graphics card driver wants to update. And the same would be true with AMD here as well. So usually you might actually have to download something to your computer. So it says how to get drivers using the AMD driver auto detect tool. We're going to go ahead and open that up. Tutorial might seem a little bit um, all over the place because we're looking at both NVIDIA and AMD but it should be pretty self-explanatory honestly. I mean, I'm just kind of going along with the instructions I'm reading on the page as I'm talking about with you guys here. And you can see it says the AMD auto detect tool is available on this driver and support page. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. I'm making you jump through a couple of hoops here to get to it but again you just would go ahead and select the download button and then it would should automatically update it. And NVIDIA, it looks like you actually have to enable Java on the page. So, actually, I don't even have Java installed in the system, so we're going to just kind of skip over that one. But um, I think you guys get the point here. It should be pretty straightforward. So, go ahead and install the drivers as you normally would. And that is about it. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope that I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.